Am I Connor Bedard hunting tomorrow? No. No, this is a baseball card channel. I don't really dabble in much of the other sports. Hello, my friends. We're going Connor Bedard chasing. Just going to get right into it because I don't have a whole lot to say about hockey cards. As a matter of fact, this is the first hobby box I've ever opened right here. And I've decided that I'm going to keep ripping until I get a Bedard Young Guns. Because oh, you're sealed right here. Because for me, it's about the chase. I like chasing cards out of wax. Could I just buy the single? Sure. Would it be cheaper? Ah, I don't know. Because this wax has gotten pretty crazy. I've heard reports that it started out, like if you pre-ordered it, a normal price was going to be around 170 bucks, And now it's up to like 300-ish a box, and it keeps going up by the day. If I, if I hit any cards here that you know about, that I don't see, it's got any kind of value i'm gonna rely on you to let me know because i am ultra focused in on the prize and i don't even know there's one there's our first young guns We're supposed to get six of them there's number one canvas these are pretty cool i like these it's been a while since i ripped upper deck really in general i used to open up a lot of upper deck when i was a kid when it first came out one of the first premium releases I remember from back in the day. Another reason to rip, not only looking for standard Young Guns cards, but there's a Larkin. I live in Michigan, so Red Wings guy. But Dave and Adams has a $1 million bounty on the 101 Young Guns Bedard. So maybe we become a millionaire together. Maybe I become a millionaire and you can watch. How about that? Those are cool dazzlers. I like that. I like the look of it. Seems like a card like that could be numbered. Forsberg. PCs. Got another one. We do not have the big boy yet. I just, I know we're going to pull them. Not only that, but since we're open hobby, we can get that in a parallel. And that would be, ooh, ooh look at this. PCs. That is a sweet looking card. Wow. Yeah, I like it. Brian Rust, Canvas. And then we fly through. I hope you I hope you enjoy the show. I can't put on as good of a show as normal because I really don't know what I'm doing. But I like these cards. Good photos. Appears to be good QC. Oh, we got a numbered one. Deluxe. Zaka. To 250. You know what? This, my friends, is Standworthy card number one. And that's exciting. Anytime you get a numbered card, you feel pretty good. I like how the upper deck logo and the B is a nice little sky blue color. That looks cool. Let's get him on the stage. We got a stand worthy card. Logan Thompson and Bobby McMahon. Another Young Guns. Okay, we got about half the packs left. I haven't opened a tin yet. I did get some retail, so I recorded a video ripping some retail. Maybe I'll include it in this video, but not all the video turned out very good. Monster Season. McDavid. Cool. You seem fairly common. Ecliptic. But anyways, I, I found some retail. I went out looking. Just because this stuff got so expensive, I figured if I could find it in the wild for a reasonable price, I'd get some to rip. So I found some hanger boxes and one of the big, I don't know if you call that a blaster box or what, but I ripped them. I got a few cool things and... Kind of like that too. I do like that. Another canvas. Honor roll. 
I ripped them, and there was like some glitching going on. Kind of weird how their names are cut off. Right there, that looks kind of like a mistake. I think it is. But I had a glitchy video, and the quality just wasn't what I expect. I can definitely cut some some of the footage and add it maybe, but I don't know if it's even worth it. Instinctive. We got another Young Guns, Lacombe, and... Whoa. Look at that. Is that uh what do they call that? Outburst? I think that's a base set out outburst. That is pretty gnarly. Svechkinov. I like it. This is a unique parallel from what I'm used to. We don't have anything like this in tops. But I'm putting them on the stage. And if you happen to get that, young guns, Bedard, it's Four figure card draw. Already the hobbies feel a lot more loaded than the that retail I opened. Seemed to be just mostly base and a few inserts. I did manage to pull a few young guns, but oh hoo hoo hoo. PC card, Iserman canvas. Yeah. <laughs> PC. We got two packs left. I think we'll try a tin after this. This one kind of feels fat. Fat pack. Director of boards. Oh, clear card. Charlie McAvoy. That's sweet. 302. How tough are these? 1 in 36 for the base set clear cut parallels. Sucker for a clear acetate card, personally. Especially when it's tough to pull. Fairly tough to pull. They're not coming out of every single hobby box. So <laughs> I like these cards too. One pack left. Definitely like the hobby boxes better than the retail. For sure. A lot of baseball stuff. I rip retail just because the value is there. But I had to pay a little bit of premium because I got mine from Meyer. PCs. Indeed. Larkin. Deep Root, everybody likes these. And another Young Guns. Okay, what's this all about? Bonus pack. These tins have got to be pretty collectible too, right? I would imagine with Bedard on there, I would imagine. I'm going to keep, I've got several of these. I'm going to keep them sealed. But we got to open one just to see what it's all about bunch of packs wow i didn't think there were gonna be this many packs in there four bonus pack four more so we got eight packs I'm gonna keep the 10. what do you say we open this magic pack first dazzlers Woo! those are glory I like those oranges. Yeah. Okay, we're off. Let's compare. What do we like better? Put it in the comments below. What are you preferring for the money? Chuck. Dollar per Dollar per card, dollar per young guns, got dollar per whatever parallel are you chasing? What do you prefer? What format do you prefer? Let's get a conversation going. There's one. I believe we're supposed to get three out of here. Stevenson. He sees.
Okay. Going back. And I'm like I said, I'm sure I'm passing over some cards and you guys are gonna have to tell me up. Oh, wait, 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 go back. Make sure you sleeve up. Whatever. Ludwig. Lots of guns, but not the guy. Connor Bedard ended the 2022-23 WHL season with 143 points. The next closest player at 107. Betchkin. Glossy. Oh, why do I like them so much? They're funny. I like how they're leaning into the wild outfits. In the 2023 World Juniors, Bedard led Canada to a gold medal. And he set five records. Most career points, 36. Most career goals, 17. Most points at a single tournament, 23. And most assists at a single tournament with 14. He also broke the U18 World Juniors record for most points in a single competition with 23. It's real. Forsberg. Well... Two packs left. Come on. Lots of young guns. Sidney Crosby deep roots, but not the guy we're looking for. Well, let me know in the comments below. Should I do some more boxes? Should I keep chasing 